There is a growing outcry in the U.S. state of Texas to stop the execution of Rodney Reed. His supporters picketed the state capitol in Austin Saturday. Reed was convicted more than two decades ago for the brutal killing of a 19-year-old woman. DNA links him to the crime, but his backers say evidence actually points to a different suspect. CNN's Ed Lavendera has the story from Texas. In 1996, 19-year-old Stacy Stites was found dead on the side of a road in Bastrop, Texas. She was partially dressed, bruised, and strangled with a belt. Investigators say she was raped and murdered just after 3 in the morning on her way to work at a grocery store. For months, the prime suspect was her fiancé, a police officer named Jimmy Fennell, until DNA evidence pointed to another man she knew. A year later, tests confirmed Rodney Reed's semen was found inside Stites. A jury convicted Reed and sent him to death row. But the saga was just beginning. It almost reads like a book. Hopefully we don't execute the wrong man for this murder. Reed's attorneys say the evidence points to Jimmy Fennell as the killer. They say Reed and Stites were engaged in a consensual affair and Fennell found out about it. Reed talked about this in an interview. Prior to her death, there was a time when we was together and she said that if he, that Jimmy found out that we were together, that he would kill me. I just took it as a figure of speech. I didn't take it literally. And that is clear motive for him to have killed Stacy and ultimately having Rodney Reed take the fall for that murder. Reed's case has garnered celebrity attention. Kim Kardashian, Rihanna, and others are pushing to stop Reed's execution scheduled for November 20th. Reed's lawyers say the murder investigation is full of holes. They say the time of death isn't accurate and that police never searched the apartment where Fennell and Stites lived together and that DNA tests were never conducted on the belt used as the murder weapon. But Fennell's lawyer says the push to exonerate Reed is a circus that has been rejected by appeals courts and that Reed is a monster. Rodney Reed is a garden variety sociopath who has convinced his lawyers and lots of other people that he's just a poor, uh, unfairly charged black man being railroaded to, uh, to the death chamber. Prosecutors here in Bastrop, Texas, maintain Rodney Reed is guilty and deserves the death penalty. They have also pointed out in court documents that Reed was suspected of sexually assaulting and raping six other women. He was acquitted in just one of those cases. These are uh, allegations, they're not convictions. And they have nothing to do with whether or not Rodney Reed committed the murder for which they're trying to execute him. There's also this. Jimmy Fennell spent 10 years in prison for kidnapping and raping a woman in 2007 while he was on duty as a police officer. In a court affidavit, an Aryan Brotherhood inmate claims that when they were in prison, Fennell said to him, I had to kill my N-word loving fiance. The next surprise witness will be Mother Teresa appearing via Epiphany. Each one of these stories is laughably uh, lacking in uh, credibility. Rodney Reed also has one advocate that once lived by him on death row. Anthony Graves, you spent 18 and a half years on Texas death row. You were fully exonerated, released, you were wrongly convicted. Why do you relate to Rodney Reed? I relate to Rodney because I know for a fact that those same players didn't give a damn about whether I was innocent or not. Anthony Graves was wrongly accused of murdering a family of six people in 1992. The same judge, medical examiner, and court-appointed defense attorneys that worked his case also worked Rodney Reed's murder trial. I was in his seat. I know his story. It just sends chills up my spine when I read and know what Rodney is going through. Graves has been free almost 10 years and now works as a criminal justice reform advocate. A young white woman was murdered and a black man was convicted of it. That is their case. They're not listening to anything else. Rodney Reed was definitely framed. And they're taking it all the way to the execution table. While prosecutors who worked the case say the thought of Rodney Reed getting out of prison is absolutely terrifying. Ed Lavendera, CNN, Bastrop, Texas.